I got the moves. I got the moves. Oh, I'm making moves. You gotta move. You gotta make the city move. Like, whoa, I make the city move. I got the move. The 2020 NBA draft is happening sooner than later, and the mock draft boards are starting to shape up. One prospect at the top of these boards is 6'9", 220 pound forward Obi Toppin, a sophomore from Dayton University. He's had a great year there, but how good is he really? What is his ceiling? In today's video, I will be taking a deep dive into Obi Toppin's game, his college career, his strengths and weaknesses, what I think he can achieve in the NBA, his NBA comparison, and finally, what teams I think should draft him, and where I believe he will be selected in this year's upcoming draft. If you're new here and enjoy the video, be sure to subscribe for more NBA content like this. I am planning on making this a series where I analyze top prospects in this year's draft, so be sure to leave a like if you enjoy this kind of content. But with that all being said, let's talk about Obi Toppin. Lucas. As I mentioned, Obi Toppin is a 6 foot 9, 220 pound forward from Dayton University, where he has had a successful sophomore year. He's averaged over 20 points a game this year, 7.5 boards, and has shot phenomenally from the field, 63%, and he's shot almost 40% from deep. That's just ridiculous. He led Dayton to an amazing record of 29 and 2 overall, and those two losses were both in overtime. They also went undefeated in their conference. So, it's clear Toppin has had a fantastic year, and has been very successful personally and as a team. But what are the strengths and weaknesses of Obi Toppin? Let's start with his strengths. Shooting and his efficiency. As mentioned before, Toppin is a fantastic scorer and shooter of the ball, and he does it extremely efficiently. A guy who averages 20 points a night and is shooting 63% from the field is not normal, particularly when he also shoots close to three three-pointers a game, and does that at an elite level as well. Toppin has really shone in the Dayton system, and his efficiency will be a strong point for teams looking to draft him. Athleticism Of course, the most notable strength of Obi Toppin is his vertical leap and overall athleticism. Toppin has probably the biggest hops and vertical in the whole class, and this athleticism makes him scary for defenders when he's near the rim. However, he doesn't always dunk it, as he has a very soft touch around the hoop, getting nice lay and sometimes instead if easier. High Basketball IQ As reflected by his field goal efficiency, Toppin has a very high basketball IQ. He knows exactly the right shots to take and when to take them, and he's not afraid to make that extra pass. So those are in general Obi Toppin's main strengths. But what are his weaknesses? Defense. Now don't get me wrong, Toppin isn't a terrible defender. However, his game on that side of the floor does need a bit of work in pretty much every way. His awareness on this end isn't good. He can make a lot of silly mistakes and not make correct rotations, etc. Stuff like that. He's also not overly engaged on this end, rarely attempting to hustle, like going for steals, and doesn't go up often for a contested board. He also barely puts effort into a shot contest, mostly jogging or walking to shot contest, or even ignoring the shot. This area of his game arguably needs the biggest work to me, because with his athleticism, he could be above average for his position one day. So those are the strengths and weaknesses of Obi Toppin in my opinion. Let me know if you agree with them below. Now, let's move on to the next part of the video, Obi Toppin's NBA comparison. If I had to compare Obi Toppin to a current NBA player, it would be quite difficult to say, as if I'm being honest, I think he's a unique player and no one else in the league currently is like him. However, if we look at the past, he does remind me a bit of Amari Stoudemire. Just the way he plays, how he uses his strengths, it reminds me quite a lot of Amari. Let me know who you think Obi Toppin reminds you of in the comments below, but let's move on to the next part of the video, the draft. If I had to make a mock draft right now, I would for sure put Obi Toppin in the top three. His season this year has been beyond phenomenal, 
and I think he's proved enough to everyone why he deserves to be a top pick. Unfortunately, we couldn't see him in March Madness as that was cancelled, but the fact he led Dayton to a number one seed is special and should not get underrated. If I had to be specific, I'd say he goes second overall, but it all really depends on who wins the lottery and what the order is. With that said though, what teams should chase Obi Toppin? There are two teams out there that I believe would draft Obi Toppin instantly if he's available, and I believe Obi is a perfect fit for both of these teams. The first is the Golden State Warriors, and Obi Toppin has even said himself on a podcast that he would love to be drafted by the Golden State Warriors, and it makes sense why. Seeing as Toppin is a small or power forward, he would slide in perfectly with Golden State's small ball lineup, and could even be a great 6th or 7th man for them to begin his career. A starting lineup of Curry, Clay, Wiggins, Toppin and Draymond is an exciting prospect to me, and you could even slide out Draymond Green for Eric Pascal and it would still be a very exciting call. The only issue with this roster to me for Obi Toppin is Andrew Wiggins, so I feel like if Wiggins is traded this offseason, it would open up a lot more minutes for Toppin, which would help his development into a star player, which I believe he can become. The Warriors are amazing at making average players great, they know exactly how to utilize all their pieces, their system has to be the best in the league, so I'm not surprised Toppin wants to go there. Another team that I feel could use Toppin would be the Cleveland Cavaliers. With already plenty of young backcourt players and having stars in the front court in Kevin Love and maybe Andre Drummond if he stays, the only thing the Cavs are lacking is a good wing player, and Toppin could definitely be that guy. One thing that Toppin will definitely bring to Cleveland is excitement and hype, something they've unfortunately lacked since LeBron left. I would be extremely intrigued to see a Darius Garland pairing with Obi and even with Sexton too. I'm not sure why to be honest, but I feel like those guys could work together well. Also, Toppin would get a lot of opportunities in Cleveland, which is something you love to see, as experience is the best way to develop a player, at least in my opinion. So those are the two teams I believe would be perfect for Obi Toppin and utilize them well. Finally, before we finish the video, I want to quickly predict what Obi Toppin will achieve in his NBA career. And yes, I know it's very early and a bit hard to predict how well Toppin would do, considering he hasn't even been drafted yet, but I think it's okay to predict as it's fun for me to look back on in a couple of years. In my opinion, at best, I can see Toppin becoming an all-star in the league, probably a multiple-time all-star. I think he has all NBA level potential too, and if he can develop his offensive game more and improve his defense, I can see him being a top 15 to 20 player in the NBA one day. However, I think he could also just be an average role player, a guy who can go get you a bucket off the bench and nothing more. That's probably the flaw for him. My overall prediction for him though is an all-star level player, and he should be around that level for the majority of his prime. So overall, these are my thoughts on Obi Toppin. He's a great scorer and shooter, and one of the most athletic players in this year's draft class, if not the most athletic. He has a high basketball IQ, particularly on offense, but his defensive game in general needs improvement. He reminds me of Amari Stoudemire a bit, and I think he's showcased to scouts enough that he's a top three pick in this year's draft, and I have him going top two if the hype for him remains. I think teams like Golden State and Cleveland should target him in this year's draft, and I believe he can become an all-star in the league and overall have a solid career when it's all said and done. Obi Toppin is a great prospect and has a ton of potential to be successful in the NBA. With him hinting he would like to be drafted by Golden State, I have no doubt he's on their radar, and depending on how the lottery goes, could fall into their lap on draft night. We'll just have to wait and see how things pan out, but one thing I can say for sure is that Obi Toppin has a very bright future ahead of him. 
And that will conclude the video. What do you guys think of this? What are your thoughts on Obi Toppin? Where will he be drafted this year? What team should go for him? Let me know all your thoughts down in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to drop it a like and subscribe. But with that being said, I am out. Peace. Hey, Mobs, that sounds wavy.